How are you? Oh, Parker? so good. Yep. How are you? Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Come on in. Thank you. You guys Thanks don't look alike at all. Uh, <laughs> I can't even grow a beard. My 18 year old son can. <laughs> I, um, I tell you, I haven't, uh, I said on the air today, I haven't been this excited to meet somebody in a long time. Oh. I mean, you're really, you are life changing. Good stuff, mm. really good stuff. Thank you. And um, you've really focused me and several members of the team. Mm. And um, uh, I just hope that we can help expose this a little bit more. Well, that's okay. awfully gracious. I just want to walk. We've, we've been circling. Yeah. And um, uh, I just want you to kind of explain it. Yeah. So, yeah. Come on, let's okay. go walk. Yeah, you know, it was in, in writing it, it was just one of those books that I knew if, it, if people didn't pray it as a result, they would just be further educated beyond the level of their obedience already right, right. and uh, and probably feel worse because I you know I've never met anybody that feels like they pray too much right or prays <laughs> right. too effectively right like right. everybody feels like they fall short right we go out every afternoon yeah and uh, we start over there yeah and we say a prayer yeah and then we circle this entire property it is focused us on um, um, God's work and not ours. Yeah. Separated us in a respectful way between yeah. um, what we can do and what yeah. he can do. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, and, um, and I just think made us much more obedient. But yeah. there are you know, when I first, I read your book and, and um, nobody else on the staff had, and what's strange is, you know David Barton? Yeah. Okay, so some of David Barton's friends, yeah. I called him up and I said, David, we started circling our complex in prayer. And I said, uh, just started reading this book. And he said, really? And I said, yeah, and he said, okay, so I'm not gonna, I'll tell you now, I wasn't gonna tell you before, he said, uh, some friends of mine called and said, do you think, does Glenn's security, would they know, would they have a problem if we circled the building in prayer? And I said, uh, you've already been doing that? The battle belongs to the Lord. This is not your battle to fight. It's not your battle to, to win. You just circle it and you watch what I can do. Right. And uh, I think God does the same thing in our lives. And I think that's the beauty of prayer. Um, you know, I'm I'm one of those simpletons, Glenn, that, that thinks God does now what he did then. And if I we too. do what they did in the Bible, right. he's going to do what he did. Right. So uh, it, it's it's almost hard for me to put into perspective. But I mean, honestly, I, when I first said it, we pray every day. And when I first said it, I said, you know what, we're going to start circling this building. Yeah. And you should have seen the looks. Yeah. Everyone was like, what? And just in the last month, I mean, to have two other sources say they were prompted to do the same thing, mm. I thought was, at the same time, yeah. really yeah. Um, yeah. more than odd. Yeah. And, uh, and not a coincidence. Right. And, then, um, and then to see the change in all of us. Yeah. It, I mean, yeah. at, at, at the very least, it focuses you. 